Good morning, guys. I've gotten so used to filming a couple different days and combining them all into one vlog that I thought today I'd sit down, film like a proper day in my life, a little bit more detailed, a little bit more chatty, um, and take you guys along. I have kind of a packed day today. Um, it's a little stressful, but I'm gonna get everything done. It's gonna be fine. Um, I woke up, made some breakfast, and then I've just been watching a bit of YouTube and stuff. I have class at 1 or 1.30, but um, I have to finish an assignment that I drafted last night for that, and then I have some content that's due that I need to finish. So I'm gonna start getting ready for that, and then hopefully the rest of my day will be productive too. I haven't gotten up early and like grinded in a second. Um, I feel like it's been hard to get back into my routine since I got back from spring break because we were so used to like just relaxing and stuff. I have to like get back into being motivated again, but obviously having due dates kind of forces me to do that. So that is the plan for today's video. I feel like I haven't filmed like school content in a while either. So hopefully this will be motivating to those of you who really like my like study vlogs and stuff like that. So let's get this day started. My skin is currently still so dry from me getting really burnt when I was on spring break, so I haven't really been applying a lot of face makeup. I'm gonna see how this goes because I really hope it doesn't turn out like creased and gross on my dry skin. Okay, honestly, not bad. Trying a new hair mousse today as a heat protectant. Not sure how this is gonna go, but We'll see. Okay, I'm ready to go. I just did my hair and then put on like a little bit of light makeup. On the topic of getting ready, I do want to say a quick thank you to Native for sponsoring today's video. Native makes a bunch of different care products, but I'm going to be specifically talking to you guys about their plastic-free deodorants today. The packaging is completely recyclable, and every time you buy one of these, you know you're saving 37 grams of single-use plastic. Native is also a partner with 1% for the Planet, which means that they've committed to donating 1% of their sales on these deodorants to environmental nonprofits. In terms of scents, I have three they were kind enough to send me. So first up, I've got the aloe and green tea one, which is one of their sensitive ones, and then I've also got the lavender and rose and the eucalyptus and mint. I personally really like the lavender and rose. It smells so good. And I've just been like throwing this in my bag every time I leave the house. So it's just nice to be able to reapply when I'm out. Outside of these ones, they also have a bunch more options on their website. And they also just recently launched their candy shop collection, which is filled with more candy-like and sweet scents, if that's what you prefer. So if you guys would like to check out Native, you guys can go to the link in the description box and use my code Herman at checkout to get 20% off of your first purchase and yeah again huge thank you to them for working with me for today's video now that i'm ready i'm gonna go finish the reel that i've been working on because i want to get that up in the next few days and then i can go and proofread my assignment before i head to class i have like an hour it's a little tight but it's fine we're gonna make it work i don't think proof i'm hoping that proofreading won't take that long i just need to like actually sit down and be productive and make sure i don't get distracted As you can 
hotel. Class is done. I'm now heading over to my friend Isabel's place to go do a little bit more work, hang out, and then we're probably gonna make some dinner later. It's fun. Whatever. Thank you for your assistance. Welcome. Laundry. <laughs> Hello, guys. As you can probably tell, I'm back home now. I got back like an hour ish ago, like 9 30. Um, and I just started doing my laundry. So I'm washing a few things. I'm going to hang up before I sleep. But other than that, I've just been taking a bit of a break. I'm glad I went to Isabel's, so it was nice to see her and it's just nice to be out of the house. I feel like I'm getting to that point in winter now where I'm just like waiting for it to end and I've been spending a lot of time at home, which is nice. It's nice to be home and I'm glad I'm in a space where like I feel comfortable and I'm excited to get home at the end of the day. But I also don't want to be holed up all the time. Um, so it was nice today to be out of the house for longer. My morning was a little bit stressful, which you probably can't tell through the footage, but um, I had like a decent amount of stuff to finish and I was like so stressed about the stupid assignment that I was working on. Even though it's super short, I just like didn't really do as well as I would have liked in the midterm for this class. So I really want my assignments to like help bring my grade back up a little bit more than what I'm at right now. But once I finished that, I felt a lot better. I was just worried because the night before I was working on it and I just like felt like I couldn't write. And I don't know, I think I fixed it this morning. I do have a bit of editing to do, so I think I'm gonna do that for like an hour and then try and sleep early because I have a meeting for my internship that I'm doing this summer in the morning and I need to get up early for that because it's at 8.30 in the morning. So I need to get up at like 7.30, 7-ish, oh God. But it'll be nice, I'll get up early and then I'll have a full day. The time also just recently changed here again where like we turn the clocks forward an hour so our days are a little bit longer now, which has been super nice. I don't know. I feel like I feel a big difference when the sun starts setting later. It feels like winter is finally fading off a little bit more, even though it's been like snowy and kind of gross out every day this week so far. But yeah, there's fun things planned for this weekend, which I'm excited for. We've got St. Paddy's Day coming up, which I think will be fun to celebrate. I never used to celebrate it um, back home, but it's a big thing here. So we're doing stuff for that. Anyways, overall, productive day today. I'm gonna edit for a little bit now and then I'm gonna crash in probably like an hour-ish because I don't wanna be able to play. I'm gonna read a bit before I sleep. I'm gonna start this book. I've heard good things about it. One of my friends let me borrow it from her. So we're gonna see how it is. I had a book that I was reading before and I liked it, but not enough for me to like be reading it on top of all the other readings that I'm doing. So we'll see how this one is because I feel like I need something that like I'm obsessed with to be able to like actually put aside time during school. So let's do this. I haven't read in a while. Mm -hmm. 